was an auction. Just like what Christ expected that man to do. And that's interesting. Christ didn't expect you to get up one day and walk out of your pants. He didn't tell you to set fire to your house and everything you own. He had respect for the value of things. <laughs> okay, just take it easy. <laughs> and he understood the importance of the market. We need a way to exchange goods, and money is vital for this. This upsets me. I'd like to live in a world without money, eat cake every day. Who wouldn't? But everybody has to learn to earn their own crust. There's plenty of money up there. You just need to learn how to find it. Even Mao Zedong had to work as a teacher in a village in Changsha when he finished college. He was educated, but so what? Mao himself was born a peasant, so he wasn't going to dilly daddy. A man like that doesn't sit around and drink coffees. He was tough, and he was a communist, and he didn't care. When he started working, the people were shocked. He wore the same clothes every day, and he didn't wash himself. He had holes in his socks, and his homemade cotton shoes were about to fall apart. Eventually, he started coming to class with no top on. When the people asked him to dress more appropriately, Mao declared, There is nothing scandalous about nudity. Consider yourself lucky I don't arrive to class dark naked. Mao was tough. He was a leader. He formed the Chinese Communist Party. And that's the biggest organization on the planet today. The next biggest organization is Walmart. Now, what we have to ask ourselves is, what are we actually doing, moment to moment, to not see what is so obvious. We don't know what it is, but sometimes we get a taste of it. And that, that reminds us of what we are trying, trying to do, or our true desire is. But but our day-to-day -day reality are just the things that are not it. But by looking at what's not it, what's not true, what's not long-lasting, we can begin to back ourselves into a reality where we need help. Now, I need a volunteer to continue.